via telephone. Our guest in this segment is Carl Brower. He is the executive analyst at IC Cars. Dot com, the largest online car search engine with over 4 million new and used cars, reinventing the way consumers search for cars and sell online. Carl's also been editor-in-chief at Edmunds.com, executive publisher of Auto Trader and Kelly Blue Book and other positions as well. Carl, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, guys. Great being on with you. Hey, let's talk about cars, new cars especially. I understand uh, that uh, the car prices kind of held the line over the last year, which is uh, a good sign because the ex car prices have certainly gotten pretty expensive. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't go much higher, I think, right? And uh, I'm glad to see them stabilizing and even slowly moderating over the past 12 months down a little bit here and there, uh, but still pretty painful uh, given where we are today versus four years ago. Yeah, what what do you recommend for people who are searching for a new car? What what the prices is, is what they are now? Well, the good news is is that everything was expensive, new and used, crossed the line a year, two years ago. Today, there are pockets of deals out there now, and you can find cars that aren't seeing as much demand, and you can get competitive pricing right at MSRP, which sadly is still a pretty good deal now if you can get it right at MSRP. So things like a Pacifica Hybrid. Um, the Hyundai Ionic 5 and Ionic 6, they had um, they lost their ability to get the incentives from the Inflation Reduction Act, so the dealers are pricing them more aggressively. Uh, the Ford F-150 Hybrid, some of these vehicles now you can get right at um, MSRP, and if you go online and, and do your due diligence and research your area, you'll probably find other models, too, like that. John Gilstrap. I read, I think it was Ford lost $4.5 billion on their EVs. I, I, was it Ford, I think? Um, yes. And, but their hybrids are going strong. Uh, what does this tell us about the market? It tells us the market is still not ready for an aggressive electric vehicle push and that uh, we should be realistic about how long it's going to take to get there when we've still got electric vehicles that cost a chunk more than their equivalent non-electric vehicle. And we've got an infrastructure that can't handle really the current, let alone uh, a massive growth in an electric vehicle fleet in this country. Do you have a feel for what percentage of overall vehicle sales are um, in the, whether hybrid or EV? I know pure EV is in the mid single digits, four or five percent on any given month. You know, we'll have months that hit seven and others that'll hit four. It's dropped in recent months. I think if you roll hybrid in, you get up to like 15% hybrid plus electric. You might, I don't think you're at 20% yet with both those rolled together. Matt Miller. Uh, Carl, I've got a used vehicle right now, 202,000 miles, and I'm taking it to the shop, if not later today, on Monday morning. Am I at a point where I should probably look at, you know, putting a little into one and hanging on to that longer? And, you know, can you predict the market down the road? Am I better off waiting? Or, or is now the time to go ahead and say, hey, that 200,000-mile that car I can get rid of and get a pretty good deal on something newer? I'm personally a big believer in using a car as long as you can, as long as it's not costing you an excessive amount of money. I've got a 213,000-mile car sitting, up, sitting about 20 feet from me right now. Um, if you need a new car because your car is wearing out, anyone out there, it's better now than it was a year ago. We're off our highs, so you can buy now and not feel like you're paying the absolute most that you would have a year ago. It's going to moderate down, but it's not going to fall. The bottom's not going to fall out in the next six months. So it's not like if you bought now, you'd wish you'd waited six months because everything got super cheap six months from now. So it's really down to any individual circumstance. You need a car now. It's not a terrible time to buy. You can wait another six months. It's not a terrible decision to wait another six months. Is there a good way to find the best deal? You've always got to research, no matter what's going on in the market. You've just got to use the tools that we all have access to, right? You can get the market value of any car now without even leaving your house, just by going online. Sites like I See Cars, where I work, we've got the market value. We can tell you the good and bad deals. And that'll be you know, zeroed down to your specific zip code for a specific year, make, model, miles, condition, the whole thing. So understand what the market value really is on your car so you don't overpay. And then do comparison shopping. If there's a car you think you want, but you realize there's three others that are essentially the same kind of car, and one of them is 20% lower than the other two, again, do your, do your research. Make sure there's nothing else wrong with that car. But some models are just cheaper than others now, thankfully. And maybe you can get a better deal if you switch to another one. 
Don Brower, our guest from iccars.com, and that's I-S-E-E cars. Dot com. Carl, we say cars generically, but for the most part, uh, Americans right now are preferring trucks, light trucks. Is the sedan a dead item in a couple of years? Probably. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty uh, ugly market out there for four-door cars. There's going to always be a certain amount of sedans, and, but we're not going to be able to support like 15, you know, 10, 10 mid-size sedans like we did uh, 10 or 12 years ago. We're now going to support like three or four, and the Strong will survive. The Accord's not going anywhere. The Camry's not going anywhere. But a lot of these other second- and third-tier players, if they're not gone already, they will be. Final minute, Carl. Any final advice for our audience? You know, we've seen a big drop in used and even some new uh, electric vehicles, as we discussed before. That market has shifted, unlike the rest of the market, which has been pretty stable. So if you were thinking of buying an electric vehicle, especially a used one, we've seen the prices off about 30% from a year ago uh, for various reasons. So now isn't a bad time to consider a used electric vehicle if it otherwise meets your requirements. Uh, you still got to make sure everything else works for you, but not a bad time for a used electric car purchase. Carl, thanks so much for your time this morning. We always, of course, appreciate it. Great being on with you guys. Have a good day. Take this care. This interview is produced for us by Infinity. By the way, you can find out more about what Carl Brower talked today at uh, iccars.com. That's I-S-E-E-C-A-R-S. Dot com. Matt, John, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. Dave Ramsey shows next. This is Talk Radio WRNR Martinsburg. We'll talk to you again in 22 short hours.